Hey, it's Bill again with Kentucky USA Waterworks. Today we're going to talk about foaming and cleaning applications. We have seen a lot of interest and there's tons of videos out there showing people that have become enamored with foaming to do some cleaning. I've talked about foaming with our customers for years. I'm a big fan of foaming. The primary thing with foaming should serve two real main purposes. The first one is cleaning a vertical surface. Keeping your cleaning product in contact with what you're cleaning longer to be more effective and cut down time and ultimately save you money. The second real reason to go to a foaming application with cleaning is extending the life of your product and using the right amount without overdoing it. There's no point in wasting money because you're using more product that you don't need, that isn't needed. So to help demonstrate this, our friends and partners at Foaming have sent us this foaming uh, tank. We're going to test it out today. We really like this tank because not only can you hand pump this up, it also has airline here that keeps a constant pressure. I think this one goes up to about 45 PSI. Pressure has a lot to do with what kind of foam you create, the quality of foam you create. I've pumped up and used several different ones that are hand models like this that you pump up. You lose as the pressure drops down, it doesn't foam quite as good. So this model is really good because it keeps that constant pressure on there and you get a really good quality foam as you go through the process of foaming. It could be an addition in your shop. A lot of foam talk out there in the auto detail world where people are washing cars and such. Uh, this would allow you to free up equipment Everybody's got an air compressor in some of these places. If you don't, you don't have to worry about it. You can pump it up. And we'll talk about some other foaming applicators. Also, we'll do some videos outside. But to demonstrate that you don't have to foam with straight product or very little water, our recommended dilution ratio of our concentrated cleaner is a three to one dilution ratio. We're going to put exactly that in this 2.6 gallon container and we're going to go out and we're going to create some foam with this and we're going to show you the quality of foam that we get with our product at that recommended dilution ratio so that you can cut down on the cost that you are incurring by having people or getting enamored with things as how much foam you can create by being more efficient and saving money and cutting down the cost of how much chemistry you're using to clean with. So, that said, a three to one dilution ratio, we need 0.6 of a gallon. We did a bunch of math yesterday, and came up with how many milliliters of that is, and I've got this container marked right here, and I'm gonna put 0.6 gallon in here so that we can get to our, or was it 0.83 gallon? Yeah, 0.83. Six? Okay. I'm right there at that line. Make sure I don't spill any of this and make a mess. And the main thing here, everybody, is that It's difficult for a lot of businesses to stay in business these days, and you have to watch where you're spending money every day. I know we do. And I'm trying to show you that you can do more cleaning with less product, with less cleaning product, by using foam. This was a gallon of water, by the way. Got another one here. Can 
we're going to take this outside and we're going to create some foam. And we're going to show you how well our product works to foam. We're going to show you how well this foam at F100 does creating foam. Thank you.